in the current situation, many people in the world face uh, water shortage problems, and it is expected that it's going to be a lot worse in the coming decades. And that's partly due to uh, a growing demand and partly due to climate change, which is expected by the IPCC to lead to reduced water availability and drought in certain areas of the world. Through the work that we do with, with Deltares, we're able to use the best forecasting techniques. 40% um, of the aquifers in the world are already past the tipping point, and that's only going to get worse and worse. For uh, food production, uh, you need uh, water. And what you see actually in a lot of uh, countries in the world, that the agricultural sector is uh, using uh, up to 80% of the total uh, fresh water availability. And when uh, there is not uh, enough water available, you're talking about water scarcity. Well, in terms of human security, it's of course, it's uh, dramatic. And in some regions in the world, Sudan, Yemen, Syria, I mean, this issue is very much alive. And that's why all the politicians are now paying so much attention to this issue. So we cooperate with uh, Wageningen University and Research to connect the results of water models to their global food production models. And we cooperate with Institute Klingendal to connect that again to the societal impacts and political uh, influences. Now bring together Deltares and Wageningen, we can uh, combine actually uh, both water availability and water allocation uh, together with the water uses. And uh, we see that as a very strong combination. Our contribution is very much on linking it to the mainstream uh, conflict risk uh, literature and also to look at the political debates and to link that with the knowledge of water and water data uh, provided by Deltares. We really want to understand how climate change leads to water scarcity, how that leads to food insecurity, maybe food prices that go up, uh, social inequality and the whole chain leading to conflict. Because only if you understand this chain, you can identify solutions to prevent these types of uh, outcomes. I think there is many that can benefit by a better insight on the geopolitical impacts of water. First of all, the governments whom it concerns, the climate adaptation funding, how can you spend it best? But another important category is the private sector, the insurance industries, the investors, the producers of food. But really the geopolitical impacts of water scarcity is something relevant for both public and private sector actors. We know for a fact that 20 years from now, countries are going to face more difficult issues than today. They desperately need serious professional data and advice. So this will actually uh, save lives. It will also save crops. It will help uh, governments make the right decisions uh, and will hopefully um, make the world just a, a safer place. <laughs>